Hello YouTube. Like and subscribe. Ah! Hi guys! Hi guys! Guess where we are today? Yeah. Oh look, the best football team in Northampton. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah. hey. But more importantly than that, the lift tower. If you don't know, Northampton has its very own lighthouse. <laughs> now, it's actually a lift tower, you can see that thing there. If you don't know Northampton, it's where they used to test the lifts for the express lift company. So you should send them up and down there and whatever. Today's job, we're installing oh. the socket there. <laughs> Why? Just want to say something whilst we're on the lift tower. I do a lot of work for a charity called Cynthia Spencer Hospice. And they're looking for people to abseil down that lift tower. It, it's, <laughs> it's, a some, it's something like, I can't remember, 200 metres. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you've got to be old. some sort of crazy, crazy nutter to want to do it. But... If you want to do it, then go to have a search for Sylvia Spencer Hospice. Have a look at their uh, um, website, and it's all on there. They're on Facebook as well, so give them a like. They need they need loads of help this year because of coronavirus and that. They've not had a lot of um, chance for fundraising, so they're a bit short of money. Go and give them a look and help them out. Even if you just want to donate five or whatever pound, whatever, just do it. Get on the do lift it. tower. Do it. Get on the lift tower. Anyway, where, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing at McDonald's, Adam? Oh, I thought I'd buy you breakfast, mate. Adam bought breakfast. Win-win. Hey. And he had to go on a slide as well, bless yeah. him. Yeah. Didn't you? Yeah. Didn't you? Had a little go. Yeah, a little, 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 little Disinfected there. it after. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, no, so we thought we'd have breakfast. My treat is uh, Dean's always doing loads of me, and I got him a little gift as well. Bought him a bag of rubbish. Oh, cheers, mate. Bag of rubbish. Bag of rubbish. I told you to chuck out what it at. It's, so it's a bag of rubbish, and I got... Um, I thought I'd get Dean a little present because he does he does so much for me and I, I on the last couple of jobs I've been thinking he needs he needs some of these because his are getting I won't say any more till he's opened it but he, he needs some new ones so um is it, yeah is it a set of pants Yes. Gym pants. I yeah. need some new pants. Cheers, set, mate. Set of pants, mate. Yeah. Set of clean pants. Oh, yeah, you find so thought Because he's he's so good to me, I thought I'd get him a, a little gift. So let's see, it's a bag of rubbish. Oh, you got me a bag. Another Cheers, bag. Mate. I got him another That's bag. Just what I wanted. Two bags of rubbish. More junk of them to chuck out there. <laughs> you can put your builder's Actually, rubbish, yeah. rubbish in that. Let's see what he thinks. Oh. I see the name Weeha. Look at that. What could that be? Oh, mate. Cheers, <laughs> mate. I love it. It's only a little something, mate, but you know, everything you do for oh, me. The only thing that's missing is one of them socket tester screwdrivers. Yeah. It's rubbish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's brilliant, mate. That is slim line, because I know. Guess you can what get I'm gonna use today. Oh you got the same ones, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't nick mine. <laughs> mine are the dirtier ones now. Yeah. But the, the, these these are great, the slim line ones for getting into um yeah. boards. That's why I got them. Yeah, perfect, because I can never get into into the RCBOs with the old um Weira ones that I've got. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. Yeah. Cheers, mate. That's right, mate. They were looking a bit tired and I thought it's time for uh time for an upgrade. Where are we off to now, mate? What job we got now? We've got to do, it's a bit of a jobbing day. First job we've got, let's have a look at the... Um, Tradify. Let's have a look at the Tradify with no discount because they haven't given me a discount yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they will one day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or rather trade tradable apps. Uh, I, I love Tradify. So first one, first thing we've got is, we've got to fit two sockets, one indoor back to back, and one outdoor back to back. Love it back to back. And then, <clears throat> second job, we've got to go and help a, a previous customer. She's got problems with uh, her RCD. <laughs> with, uh, it's been tripping. I'm trying to keep you know, it clean. Can help it. Sorry, it's just, it is clean. <laughs> tripping the RCD. She, she's got problems with her um, uh, shed socket, so we need to go and her check. Her socket. Ooh, see what that problem is. Problem with her socket. Um, third job is we've got to go and put up an outdoor or change an outdoor light porch light mm -hmm. and fit a, a ring doorbell transformer you're not going to leave your um, spirit level on there are you 
I've got, I've got two now. <laughs> and the last one is a quote. A quote. In, um, Blissworth, I think. Oh, Blissworth, is it? What's yeah. the quote for, Dean? Upgrading the garage supply. So oh, okay. Okay. That's all I know. I, don't, I ain't been to a job yet. So. so a bit of a jobbing day. Yeah, a bit of a jobbing day. We'll head off now and we will update you on the way. Bye. One, two, three, go. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> Adam, that is a stupid voice and it annoys the subscribers. Oh, what a twit. <laughs> you silly boy. You silly sausage. Yeah. So oh. today's job, come on, we've got to do some work now. Yeah. Today, today's job, back to back, with left hand socket there, straight through the back, it's also stud wall. Rear entry. Come in. Hello. And just down there, he just wants a socket for things like, um, I can't remember what it was, Wi Fi. Joseph Fritzels. Things like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, Joseph Fritzels, <laughs> spare room. Yeah. So, <laughs> this got Adam, power. Adam, grow up. Adam. And second job is a back to back socket from here, really? straight through the back, and, and straight out to there. We'll see how much brick blowout we get. On yesterday's socket, it, you might have seen on Instagram, um, I had no, literally no brick, brick blowout at all, and it was perfect. I guarantee it won't be like that today. <laughs> Always the way. I know. Always wait, and he's going to uh, test run his new. I'm going to try out my Weehaws. And he's, because uh, you've got less girth on these, mate. Yeah. <laughs> he's I'm, 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 scared, I'm scared to take them out of the pack here. I think they'll be ruined. I'll just put them in a the frame. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let Adam, Adam's done a few of these now, so I'm going to sort of leave him to his own devices and probably let him film. I'll, I'll set the camera up and you can see if he messes it up or not. <laughs> All right. Hi guys! So we're doing the socket. That's one of these little grill things. BGs, good old BG. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I can tell by the fuse connection yet. Yeah, BG board, nothing like, like putting a uh, uh, larger in a Maserati's. I like BG sockets. Uh, no, I mean the boards, mate, not the sockets. The sockets are alright. The only one which we use, aren't we? It's the board. Mm. The boards are sugar. Oh, look at that. And the CPC's just pulled straight out the back. Beautiful. Wow, these are barely done up, mate. Oh, wow, you that's kind of. Yeah, we ain't done a very good job. Pop it out sideways like that. Yeah. Pop now, it needs to come out before. Fully there. There we go. The left hand one needs to come out. Broken it, Adam! <laughs> Adam. Fold, fold them down so you don't Is that the way? lose you don't lose them. And sort of go. I, I, what I would do is a joist there. To a joist there. Yeah. That's fine. Perfect. So we go that. That. I would go slightly to the left. So yeah. If you've got a screwdriver or something, stick it through, and then you'll know. So. And then go that way, so it's that side. Yeah. So it's not exactly back to back. Yeah. Yeah. It's like like that. Yeah. Yeah. So just, just 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 for a marker. Get your screwdriver through until it's, it's totally through. That sort of angle. Yeah. And then you've got a marker on the other side of the wall where you want your socket to start. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Right, so I'm going to start drilling. Let's have a look. Right on this side. You see, he's out there. So we know where we're going to mark him up now. Okay, we've measured up 26 on the other side for the bottom. So we know the bottom is going to be... Is that 26 from the bottom of the floor? Or? No, it's from here. Right, okay. So, just double check. Yeah, no, that's fine. Now, we need to draw around our back box. Now, Dean's always told me it's best to use a metal one to draw around because you get, um, well, the best way is probably more precision than if you're using a um, dry line back box because of the edges and the... I suppose you call it a flange, wouldn't you? 
spirit level. Love a stabila. Great level. There he is. So he's all marked up on the board. Now we need to go and get the multi tool. But of course, with a multi tool, we've got to use the correct PPE. So we need to get the ear defenders out and see what we're going to listen to. Cheers, mate. What are you listening to today, Adam? Uh, Capital Dance. And it's always a good idea to have knee pads on your knees. So where else we go from? <laughs> on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> to drill this outdoor socket and I remembered luckily in time I remembered that I've got a question from Instagram from one of our um, followers you call them on Instagram yeah followers, followers. <laughs> I don't know which one is it it is life of a female sparky oh, she's great I like her yeah. yeah she's cool who asked me yesterday how did I manage to not get a, br a brick blowout on the socket and I'm gonna try try fingers crossed and not get a blowout on this one I've just got through, through the um, breeze block, the thermal light. So we're just going into the red brick now. So let's see if we can not get a blowout. One of the tricks I use is let the drill do the work, okay? Mm -hmm. Just let the drill do the work. It's gonna be a bit slower, but at least you won't have a massive blowout. And you will see it going, you will see it going gradually and gra gradually more in and in. Uh, also, I don't know if it helps. I've got one of these drill bits with a four, four point points in it I don't like know an arrow it. yeah it's like four rather than the regular drill bit where it's got two this one's got four so i don't know whether that helps but i tend not to get as much blowout like so it's really good of a dart. which brand is it, it says down there is it an Erbauer? yeah it's an Erbauer. Oh, it's Erbauer. 10 inch 10 10, 10 inch mil. Is it? <laughs> 10 mil 10 mil i think mate <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did love it on Delroy's video when he wanted it exactly 10 inches and exactly 12 10 inches. inches. Hey. Right, we're through. Hey, nice work, Doc. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, moment of truth. Oh, no. Perfect. Have a look at that. There you go, life of a female Sparky. Doctor's uh, top tip there. Again, hardly any blowout. Just take your time going through it and it just comes out nicely. Don't don't give it loads of um, welly in it. Let the tool do the work. Yeah, let the tool do the work. Oh look, there's a cable that's popped through. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's what we like. Cable that pops through. Yeah, this one's pretty What's that 
It's because I'm here, mate, that's why. Where are you last two days? Now, let's make it off. Pull the cord. <laughs> I always find I love these six in ones or whatever in ones they are, but for back boxes, nothing like a little pair of Weehars just to get in, trim the old boy down, and then we can use our installation for these. I pulled that socket off and the CPCs fell out and pretty much everything else. Now that's going to create arcing, isn't it, potentially over time with the line and neutral. It's not, <laughs> you, can't, you can't really be DIYing it, can you? You listening? Yes, I'm listening, I'm trying to work. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, I've had the same. I just took this socket off that's been fitted by the customer. It, that wasn't on very tight at all. There no. was no tension on it, on the on the <laughs> screws. So I'm gonna to recommend to the customer to go around, messing and, about. go around and uh, tighten up his screws. Actually, Adam. Yes, mate. Before we leave here, yeah. I'm gonna have a quick check of the light switches because I've noticed in the past, and you probably noticed as well, when, when a customer has um, put their own sockets on and stuff, they might not earth the um, front of the, um, the, the face plate. If they're class one fittings. Yeah, class one fittings, but, he, but I don't know if he's after the face plate. So let's have a little check. Probably not. If he hasn't, then I'm gonna to have to recommend that he, that we have a look at least. You can get anything off YouTube these days, can't you? <laughs> so, so many idiots on YouTube nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> so you shouldn't be doing any electrical work unless you're under the supervision of a competent person i.e the only reason i'd do it is because i'm with dean isn't that right mate i thought you said competent <laughs> yeah. the cpc is always the one it's harder to get a nice bite down on well it is for me anyway because of the diameter of the sorry the cross-sectional area of the cable Certainly when you have more than one in. There you go, tug testing. Lovely jubbly, give it a nice little tug. As you can see, no exposed copper there. Lovely, tugged him, he's good. So now we're just screwing him in. level finish it up level and we always mark it up like the doctor with his signature because then we know if we come back and need to look at something we can tell if someone's mess with the signature there we go back over this side now hi guys hi guys <laughs> so annoying <laughs> so stupid stupid tweet right we've in installed the spurs now what are we going how are we going to test it what are we going to do adam we need a zs zs and, and then, then off to nottingham off to nottingham off to nottingham any right. anyone in nottingham probably learn of the day this is right learn of the day we have to have at least one learn a good theme tune, mate. Thank you. <laughs> what that. is what is question for you? Yeah. Firstly, what circuit are we on? What what um, breaker size? What breaker type? Uh, Thirty-two amp ring s ring final circuit. And what what type of MCB? Um, I think it's a six oh eight nine eight. Six oh eight nine eight. Which type? Which curve? Um, I haven't checked, so I'm gonna yep. go and check now. It's it's a B curve. B curve. Yeah, which is oh B ah oh, type B domestic. Type B, yeah. Type you, B you domestic. Call it, it's called B curve. The test for you. Yeah. What is the maximum ZS without looking at the book of this circuit? Can you remember? Is it seven point six 
some six, seven? Seven point two eight, you're seven thinking. Oh, is, that, is that your yeah, final answer? Right. Seven point two eight, Doctor. Seven point two eight. And from me from memory, that was socket, that, wasn't it? That was a lighting circuit. No, because then we got it wrong, and the lighting circuit was less. So right, let's have a look. Right, six, six amp, seven point two eight. Okay. Uh huh. We're on a thirty-two amp. So we're 1. on point three seven. One point three seven. Is that the maximum ZS? Yes. Let's have a look at our on-site guide. What's the maximum ZS for a Type B? 32B. 1.1. 1.1. So we have to go for the lower number. So. What? Right. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. So what we've what got. What the hell? This is, this is why we said learn of the day. <sighs> On-site guide. This says. I'm, no. Says. I don't like things like this. Where it's, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I don't like it. Right. On-site guide says 1.1 ohms. It's just there. Rigs, nice. Rigs book, BS7671. Show on the, the front. BS7671, 18th edition. First um, amendment, or whatever it's called. Says 1.37. Just there. Which answer is right? You'd have to go with the lowest, surely. Why? Because that you'd have to have a maximum that's like if that's the lower permitted and it was a between and it was above that but below that I'd be wanting to go for that because that's the lowest reading and that's the on, on site. No, I did, you can't, it's got to be the lower, it's got to be because that's the common sense would dictate which, which one is right. It's the well, they both could be right because they're both in the I'll books. tell you the answer, they are both right. Next book is correct. On site guide is correct. This is a head. This fudge. is. This is a, it's a head fudge of the day. <laughs> head fudge of the day. Right. Why are they different values, Adam? I've got no idea. I'll tell you why. And this is learning of the day. He's doing this, what was it, next week? So you could be ahead. Of, insulation theory next week. You can be ahead of the teachers and ahead of the class. You hear that, Marcus? Well, by the time this comes out, <laughs> it's you know three weeks later. But this, the regs book, is for designing. On-site guide is for, as it says, on-site. So this is what you design for. You design for one point three seven. Oh, like it. But this is with, if if you check the guidance note three. It says on page 139, appendix A, it says that the that the readings in here are the maximum ZS uh, given um, operating temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. Right. Okay, it says it up here. Because obviously we know temperature of in, increased temperature, increased resistance. So it says it, ah, it says it there. This is based on uh, operating temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. So, ba so what that means is when it's installed. So this is what you should go by when it's installed. Usually you'll get readings of around 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms. If this is at 10 degrees, what happens if you've got a hot day and it's at 30 degrees? The conductors are going to get warmer. This is an average, so it's an average temperature of 10 degrees. In the UK, probably 10 degrees is about average, isn't it? But that's a question for John Ward, maybe. Yeah. So that's a good question, Adam. Said He said, what happens when the temperature rises? So you're in the middle of summer or in Jamaica yeah. or wherever. You're making me crazy, man. You're making me crazy. <laughs> but do, do you know what I mean, though? Yeah, yeah. Good because, question. Because it because and I only know this because I've been doing science and principles. I, I purposely won't answer that question. I'm going to leave it to you viewers at home to comments, answer, answer it in the comments. The only reason I ask is science and principles that we've been doing lately. Yeah. If you increase the temperature of a conductor, mm -hmm. then you increase the resistance in the circuit, except for carbon, which is the opposite. So you get what I'm saying by the max ZS. Yeah, it's yeah. Going to creep totally up, get you. It? Is he right or is he wrong? Comment below. No, I'd love to know. I'd love to. John Ward, if you're watching. Somebody put him right. I, I know actually Sparky Ninja. He'll know. Sparky Ninja. He watches watching, our videos. Man. 
What do you reckon? Stick it, it in the comments and I'll pin it to the top. But that's a head fudge, isn't it? Yeah. Head fudge. Like, good question, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. So we're pretty much done. We're going to do a quick zest. And off to Nottingham. Measuring. He's off to Nottingham. Measuring, measuring. Long trip to Nottingham today. Oh, well below. 0.58. Perfect. This is the time of year you want to be doing outdoor soccer. Not in November. What should say that's how done? Zedus! 0.51. Ooh, lovely. Ouch. Thank you. <laughs> You're right there, mate. Yeah. Just before anyone says it, we did, Adam did carry out another test. What was that? So RCD test. That's it. Save you all complaining. God, you twits. Idiots. For fudge sake. Right, Adam. Yes, mate. Tip of the day. Yeah. We're about to move this massive TV, aren't we? Yep. And how much is that TV worth? That's got to be at least three grand. About three grand. It's okay. one of those um, OLED. OLED TV. Razor thin. Yeah, really thin. If you can see it, it's like nothing to it. Look, <laughs> and see it, and you go side it's on. A, it's, it's probably about as thick as the switch. Yeah. So, if you have to move anything like this, yep. take a picture of it, make sure you can see that it's all working after you've moved it all back. Because the last thing you want to do is get home and the customer will say, you've just smashed my three grand telly. And you'd be like, <laughs> no. I know, exactly. So now we know, we've taken a picture, we've got it on video, TV's working, what a beautiful, oh mate, it's, that is nice to it. Will it fit in the van? I think you often do. Yeah. Do you think you'll notice? Nah, I don't think you will, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Top tip of the day. We're done on this job. Let's get off to the next one. Nottingham. See you then. Second job of the day. Called out to a socket not working. It's powering a freezer, a chest freezer, so I've got loads of food that's gone off. As you can see, there's no voltage there. So let's have a look inside and see what See what we've got in here. I know there's a consumer unit in here. Let's just have a look at this. Okay. And the, um, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stayed up. Yeah, so it could be just one of them things that just, just randomly trip. If he keeps tripping, then we'll come back and we'll fault find and see what we can do. Uh, we, we just trip. We just flip the switch. We're not getting charged a customer because regular customer, no way I'm going to charge just for a quick little flick of the switch. Yeah. Let's, go, let's just check to make sure it's on. And we've got, got voltage, so we're all good. Good to roll. Another no successful operation. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, just undo the socket and just make sure everything's okay behind it. First, I, firstly, I'll isolate the power, but no, no new fuse guys to see that because we yeah, all know what it looks like. See you at next job. Can I say hello to YouTube? What's up? Priority Garden. You ever need me, mate? Come out, Northampton. <laughs> where do you, where do you, and then four traders. Where do you That's get it. a lot of your work? Now let's give a little plug for an M4 traders. Happy days. Yeah, I'll get loads of work off there. Thank you to NM4 Traders. Hey, NM4 Traders are us. Well done, yeah, get, get a lot of it off there, NM4 Traders. So if you need yeah, your gardening, gardening sorted out, priority gardening. And Dino is your man for your electrics. Electric. Dunmar <laughs> Gaff, emergency <laughs> call out on the ball. What, what, what idiot drew, drew through the wall, mate, eh? I think it was me daughter. Um, oh, was it? Yeah, I think I'd had a glass of prosciutto or something. Was, was it? <laughs> no worries, mate. Uh, Listen, nice meeting you. Take again, care. Gina. If you need me again, you know where oh, I'm right? Always, always. Yeah. Look at this, Stop, Look, looks good this. I've done all the back door, so I can have a Oh yeah, let's go and have a quick look at the back, see what you've done. Yeah, this this was a state. Last time I was here, it was it was it not good. Yeah. Oh look at this. Hey look. Nice bit of patio there. Lovely, look at that. Oh, I tell you what. That is nice, isn't it? And you've done all the decking as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah, all the oh, steps, decking. Priority Gardening Services, have a look, NM4 Traders is on there, all the contact details and everything. Brilliant job, mate, well done. Oh, man, thanks, mate. Thanks right. for the plug. Yeah. Well take, done, Dino. Take care. Dino, just Dino and Dino. It's Dino, Dino, isn't it? So, guys, just here at this job now, changing this soffit light. You see there, we're going to get that chopped, and then we're going to get the 
blue Seiko IP54 bulkhead in its place. I will uh, see in a bit. As we can see there now, all ready to be wired up and get him in. You got white or black? Oh, I don't it's up to you. So for the black, it's probably going to look something like that. Yeah. The white will go in with yeah, all the other stuff yeah. you've got. I think the white will probably look that way. Probably. White, white, yeah, go on then, go for the white. But you've got that to keep anyway. Just in case, just in case. It is literally just push on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, the same way you do it, return to kind of get it off in case I want to change. Oh, that's easy enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it depends what mood you're in, you know? Yeah, in case Can't I change my door, because I'm actually going to change my door, so I might, yeah. Stick. So basically, how's that going to work? So somebody will come along now. Yeah, um, so we need to put the power on. I'll okay. it now. All right. You have a sensor here. Yeah, so that'll sense that. Turn that on. Mm -hmm. But can I also use it as a light to physically turn on, or you can't? So if I wanted... No, no, it'll it's be not on the going to be sensor. with the light switch, no. It no. won't work on and off, right, okay. Well, if yeah, it, you can turn it on and off at the light switch because yeah. it's feeding to here. Right. But if it's on at the light switch, it will come on on the sensor. Okay. See? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you can turn it off. And if you're someone walked past, but it might not set it's off. Because of the oh, yeah, because right, of the okay. daylight. Right, okay. You can, if you want to adjust it there, it's behind here, isn't it? Yeah, it's behind the main set. Is it, was it you difficult use, to get to? Uh, you need I a screwdriver. To to no you me. have to unscrew I'll these and get it. to it. So, yeah, so then... explain to me so that I know I won't call you and bother you later. So oh, okay. it'll only work with motion, as in, is that what you're saying? Motion yeah? and um, when it gets a bit darker, well, you can adjust the settings. I think I might turn it down a bit because yeah. it's quite light. Right, yeah. So it's not, as you said, it's not an on and off thing. I can't just keep um, turning um, on and off with the do switch. It, does it have an override on it? Can you just check the instructions? Some of them do, some of them don't. Oh, Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Say hello, YouTube. Hi. Hello, YouTube. Like and subscribe. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Adam, that's not even funny anymore. <laughs> it's really, it's really <laughs> annoying. It's really irrit irritating our listeners. Listeners who twit. Actually, I, I generally actually have quite a deep voice. That's what's that, the irony of it, which is very funny. Anyway, we've just done a quote for a summer house supply. Mate, it's a lot um, of so log cabin supply, whatever it's called, I don't care. A wooden box, a posh shed. A wooden box, a posh coffin. A posh coffin. Uh, so, when, I'm just, just going to ask Adam a, a question on, on something, okay? Yeah. Now, you've been at college, you've been doing all sorts of work at college. Yeah. Um, what are the different types of containment that you've learnt uh, in college, as in, like, mm -hmm. Yeah, for mechanical protection. For mechanical protection. So yeah, your typical ones are PVC conduit. PVC conduit. Steel one, conduit. Steel conduit. And uh, any others? Trunking, so either steel trunking. or PVC. Any others? College? No, no, they're the only the only ones I you, think. You they? sure? You sure? Have a think, mate. You're not trying to trick me, are you? No. You got PVC conduit, steel conduit, any other types of conduit of you? Nope. Not, no, not PVC even steel. Not even hose pipe conduit. Hose? No, no, we haven't you've come not, across. You've not that. seen? No, we haven't come across hose pipe conduit. In you haven't been taught that at college. No, hose pipe oh, conduit. They really shot their game. You need to learn that hose pipe conduit. Yeah, yeah, we haven't conduit. come across that. I only came across it just a minute ago. Did you? And I had to double check. So, shall I explain? Yeah, go for it, mate. There's an existing supply yeah. that's feeding the posh shed, and that is coming from a plug top in the garage. So we've got conductor cross-sectional area of about 0.75 mil. Yeah, regular um, extension lead, basically. Yep. standard extension lead, fed through hose pipe conduit. Hose pipe conduit. Dangling like you hang tinsel on a Christmas tree, like that, around the back of the shed, into the back, on the inside, it feeds a consumer unit. Can anyone guess what is the make of the consumer unit? Three, two, one. BG. BG. <laughs> DIY Dave has been in there. That's Graham, isn't it? That's Graham has been at it again. He's, Graham. Graham has fed hose pipe conduit from an extension cord into a BG consumer. And the funniest thing is, there was a 32 amp circuit breaker in there yeah, feeding for, one socket. Uh, yeah. He would never even there, he would never even reach the cable there was, would burn out. There was a 32 amp ring feeding one socket. Off a blinking plug top. 
That's through when, a hose pipe. I mean, that's when you know madness. Still, I David being. I think Graham's been in. Graham's definitely done the garage in there because there is JBs everywhere. Yeah. Stuck, stuck to the wall. Spider legs coming out everywhere. Unfortunately, we couldn't get that on film because the customer Not. was following us around. But that is Graham has been in. He's had the garage. He's had a go at the shed, and he's and he's used a hose a hose pipe a blinking hose pipe. Mm -hmm. But what? But not, not even just a hose pipe. A plugs, pl plug top extension cord through a hose pipe into the back of a shed into a BG consumer unit. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Can you just check your on-site guide for the um, conduit calculations on for hose pipe. for hose pipe? Is is that in there? <laughs> No, no, I don't think it is, mate. No, no, I, don't, no I don't. I don't no, think it is. No, because it doesn't blinking exist. It doesn't work because hose pipe is not to be used in an electrical installation. Madness. This is one of those jobs as well. I mean, you wouldn't even want it, would you? Not really. I don't think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to quote two I, and the customer's going to go with DIY Dave or something. Yeah, well, it's clear that DIY mm. Dave or Graham has been yeah. used. To, they're used to dealing with someone of that standard and that price because of what what the installation looks like. So it's, it's a shambles, really. Yeah. So it's one of those. I think you'd be better off not doing it. It gives yeah. you headaches. Yeah. Unless you unless you've got a bit of I don't know. Quote me up a job on hose pipe and. <laughs> it's five in a BG unit, mad, isn't it? mate. And off a plug top. What? What? A consumer unit fed from a plug top. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Just, just take that in. What do you reckon? Comment below. Anyone done that? Is that your work? I don't. What do you think, Delroy? No, no. We we're, we're not bringing out Delroy unless we get a very special occasion. I don't know, mate. Warrants. I'm, I'm gonna get a Delroy in a box soon. Delroy, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put him out. That, yeah, that was that was borderline. All I'd say is, ah, oh, man, I don't even know. I lost for words. It was it was that to... it was that right. after such a great day. Mm -hmm. to finish yeah. on that, like you know, and oh no, the other thing before I forget, coming out of the garage, just at the bottom of the garage was a bit of twin and earth. Went it straight into the ground. Yeah. Just, just so there, there was no mechanical protection. Buried three and a half. Apparently, well, actually, no. The she woman said know. the woman said it was there when the when she moved in, nah. but it was in some sort of containment. I doubt it very much. And I it said like that will fail one day. It's not designed for the use that it's being used for. <laughs> it will fail. twin and earth underground. Mm -hmm. It just went straight. It came as the way it came out the bottom of the garage door and just went under the ground, yeah. didn't it? Just like that will fail. 100%. But, but didn't she say it? the garage is always tripping anyway? Yeah. Sums it up, doesn't it? Exactly. And that's after a rewire. Maybe it's the same people that rewired that one Bundy had in his latest video. Yeah. Right, so we're pretty much done. Uh, you'll see our sign off, which had our, it's got it's got our top spark on it. Oh. That's afterwards. We filmed that earlier, but you don't need to know all that because it don't make any difference to anything. And why am I putting my hand everywhere? Like this. Uh, anyway, hi guys. Just dropping Adam <laughs> off. We had a little bit of time left over, so we went down to the uh, wholesalers. DTR. Big right? shout out to who is it? DTR. DTR in Northampton. Top guys. Top guys over there, uh, giving us good supplies of our fuse box gear. Mm -hmm. And we've got a fuse box. Was it ten way board? Ten way board. Uh, giving that to Adam to practice his. Um, dressing in the consumer unit. Mm -hmm. See yeah. how he gets on. That's it. Going to get get some good dressing going on. And that's the thing. It's all practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Looking forward to it. Maybe even run a bit of hose pipe conduit. Hose pipe well. conduit. You know, into there. I reckon that'll look good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Get maybe a clip on hose pipe bit on the side. Plug him in like that. Yeah. Just like and he'll come out. You don't, need, don't need any glands or anything, do you? It's no, just it's just you've got hose pipe. In. What are them hose locks? Just a bit of hose yeah. lock. Pipe Spot out. on. That'd be fine. But no, no, really appreciate it, mate. Gonna get this up um, probably over the next week or so once studying and stuff's kind of calmed down. But yeah. yeah, loving it. We'll let Adam have a couple of goes and we'll put a photo up of how. Yeah. Take a couple of photos, how your first one went, and then. Stages. Yeah. Show the final one and see how, how good you can get. Yeah. And that's I'd, the thing. I'd always recommend watching Luke Richard on GSH Electrical. I uh, did pop a post of his video last time, but have a watch of that and it will show you exactly how to do it. 
anyone who's anyone uses these now, don't they? Fuse box. Yep, these are the ones. I want, where is my bobble hat? Fuse box, bobble hat. I want one fuse box. Can I have one as well? And Adam. Please. She wants one too. Uh, yeah, she wants one. The nurse wants a bobble hat, please. Please. Thank you very much. So yeah, lovely, good day. We had a good day, didn't we? Yeah, good day, wasn't it? Not too bad. Where do we go? What uh, fast food restaurant have we just been to, Adam? KFC. Been to KFC. KFC. We've had a fast food day, haven't we? Yeah, we McDonald's had a fast to start, fast. then, then uh, KFC no, to finish. I've not had a fast food that no, you diet. Had a, you had a salad. I had a salad. <laughs> it's just basically the burger without the bread. I've got my dinner soon. What time is it? Three o'clock, something like that? Uh, uh, 20 past three. I got my dinner at about five or six, so I, I had to have something light. So salad done Lime. me for a little bit. Salad. I need to go home, have a little kip. Kip. Uh, video out tonight. Yep, looking forward to it. We've got loads more in the pipeline as well, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, yeah, let us know any kind of, we'll do a Q&A session soon yeah. as well. At some point we'll do a Q&A session, so we might put that out at some point, I don't know. Yeah. Well, send us, Send us all your questions, anything you want, and we'll answer them the best we can. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye, Learn guys. Over, over to our sign-off with Elijah. Elijah. We're here with our friend Elijah. Say, say hi. Hi, hi Elijah. Hey. Top spark, top spark. What do you want to be when you're older? Um, an actor, YouTuber. And an electrician. An electrician. Yay! <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so we're all done now. We've put the light up and done a lovely job on the light. We've changed the ring doorbell. What do you reckon of the light, Elijah? Good. Cool, isn't it? That's what we like. So there's, there's one more thing for us to say, and that is like, comment, share, prescribe. prescribe.